What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can automate the process of scraping Instagram profiles and save them to a Google spreadsheet or Airtable. Let's get started. I'm going to use this tool called Appify. Appify is an incredible software that has pre-built tools for web scraping and automation projects. They call them actors. So all these tools that you see right here are tools that you can perform a certain action. For example, you can use this tool to scrape leads from Apollo, from Twitter, from Yellow Pages, from Reddit. So if you want to scrape data from, for example, Instagram, you can search for Instagram right here and search. And you will see all the different tools that you can use to scrape a particular action. So if you like to scrape Instagram, you can choose this tool. If you like to scrape posts, profiles, comments, reels, APIs, hashtag mentions, and all these other actions, emails, videos, you can come and choose a particular actor, where in this case it's just a tool, and use the tool to scrape the data that you want. Now, in our case, we are scraping Instagram profiles. So we are going to choose Instagram profile scraper. Over here, you will add the account that you'd like to scrape. For example, I've added my username. Now on make.com, I'm going to search for Appify. Since we are running our automation on Appify, I'm going to choose our trigger as watch actor run and create a webhook. I will rename my webhook to finish scraped the profiles and then choose an actor. For actor, since we are scraping Instagram profiles, I'll choose Instagram profile scraper and then click on save. And then click on OK. To scrape all the data on my profile, I'll click on Start to start running our actor. And then on make.com, I'll click on Run to watch our actor run and give us our data. So you can see over here it was successful. You can see my profile, my username, post, follow account, following, private verified business account, and bio. All these details we've just scraped using this tool. Now, when we go back, on make you will see that all our status is succeeded but you cannot see the data on my instagram page now to get the data on my instagram page we're going to add another module on appify called get data set items we're going to add the data set id so here you can search for the data set id default data set id add it right here and then Click on OK. We can come back here and copy the default data set ID. Copy it. So now when we run this module only and add our data set ID right here, you will see now that it returns our data. It gives us our username, URL, full name, bio, followers count, followers count. You can also see the profile pic URL, profile pic URL in HD. This is interesting. Now, if you'd like to add this data, into a Google spreadsheet, you can come over here and search for Google Sheet and then click on Add a Row. We're going to first of all set up our Google spreadsheet. I have a Google spreadsheet right here that I renamed to Scrape Instagram Profiles. The first thing I can add is the username. So here I'll add a column called Username. The other thing we can add is Full Name. Another column could be followers. You can also add following. You can add bio and URL. We can also add if the account is a business account. So here we can add business. You can also add verified. Another thing we can add if our, if our account is private, so we can add private right here. That's perfect. We can drag this onto our hand. Or we can also add posts. And we can choose to add posts. The number of posts, this one can drag it over here. To add all this data to our Google spreadsheet, we'll click on Google Sheet. We'll create a connection, and then you'll choose 
this spreadsheet. Our spreadsheet is called Scraped Instagram Profiles and click on it. Our sheet name is Sheet1 right here. And yes, our table contains headers and over here now we can begin adding the values to, that we like to add in our columns. So for the username, I'll choose username right here. For the full name, I'll choose full name. For the followers, I'll choose the follower count. For the following, followers count. For the posts, I'll choose the post count. The bio, I'll choose the biography. The business is the business account. For verified, I'll choose verified. For private, I'll choose private. For the URL, I'll choose the URL right here. That's perfect. To add data to our spreadsheet right here, I'll run this automation again. Now on Amplify, I may choose to choose a different account, username. So I'll choose this username right here. Now to run our actor, I'll click on save and start to run our actor. And on make, I'll run our automation. You can see that our actor is running. And it was a success. Now here on make, you'll see that our automation ran successfully. Here, we're getting the data of our account, which is the full name, the username, the URL, the bio, the followers, following, and all this other data. So let's see if the data was successfully added to our Google spreadsheet. On our Google spreadsheet, you can see that our data was successfully added. Now we just scraped all the data of this profile. We have the username, full name, the followers, the following posts, the bio. We also have the URL to the account just by using this automation right here. Now, if you'd like to run this automation automatically without having to run this automation on Appify, we can set it up on make.com. So I'll create a new scenario and rename it to run an actor. So to set up our automation, I'm going to search for Appify. And then here, I'll click on run an actor. I'll create a connection. For example, script Instagram profiles. I'll choose an actor. I'll click on Instagram profile scraper and then here I'll add a JSON file. So back to our Octo, you'll see JSON right here. I'll copy it and then paste it right here. To put in the correct format, we can search for JSON formatter and format our JSON and then paste it right here and click on format and beautify and then Copy it and paste it right here. That's perfect. So we are scraping this username. Now to run our actor, I'll click on OK and run our automation our automation right here for it to wait for data so it can add on our Google spreadsheet. So now when we click on run and on Abify, head over to runs you can see that our actor is running over here and getting our data and this automation is waiting for the data it was a success so now when we head over to automation you can see that it was a success and it got our data right here and added it to a google spreadsheet so now when we go to our spreadsheet you'll see a new profile that was scraped via automation. So for this one, you can just schedule it to run automatically and scrape Instagram profiles for you and choose to run the scenario at regular intervals every day at a particular day of the week or day of the month or on demand to run it at regular intervals. For example, after every 60 minutes and then click on OK. After every hour, this automation will run and it will scrape a profile and the profile will be added in our Google spreadsheet over here. That's how you can scrape Instagram profiles using Appify and make.com by setting up this automation. You can either run it on Appify or run it automatically on make to scrape an Instagram profile and add it to a Google spreadsheet over here. You can also choose to replace Google spreadsheet to Airtable and add the data directly to your Airtable. And that's it, folks. That's how you can scrape Instagram profiles using Appify and Make.com. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.